Hey everyone, in this video I'm working on a commissioned painting. So this painting is a 6x8 watercolor painting of a carousel horse from the Watch Hill Flying Horses Carousel in Watch Hill, Rhode Island. And this carousel was originally built in 1894 and is the second oldest working carousel in the United States. And it is second to the Flying Horses Carousel in Oaks Bluff, Massachusetts, built in 1876. So this carousel, the Watch Hill one, has all the horses and they're made out of wood. And then there's a ring game. So all the kids sit on the horses and as it goes around, you can collect these rings. And then whoever gets a golden ring gets a free second ride, which is super cool and a tradition that's been going on since I think they made the carousel. So that's kind of cool. Now, this painting that I'm doing right now is actually the second time I'm doing this painting because I had to restart it because the first one I did I actually didn't like. Now for this one I'm doing a couple things differently. The first one I had layered a couple different brown paints over the entire horse which I ended up not liking how it looked because it did not have the watercolor effect I was looking for. So for this one I decided to use a very thin amount of the brown paint and only use one color so it wouldn't get all chunky and not have the effect that I wanted it to have. And then for the saddle, I had mixed up a nice navy color and again, really focusing on doing very thin layers, which overall gave a better watercolor effect than the first time. So restarting was definitely a great idea. Another thing I chose to do differently in this painting opposed to the other one is do a much lighter background and not have so much attention focus on the background. For this carousel, there are usually paintings in the background on the middle part of the carousel. And instead of being really detailed with those, I decided to do them very pale and kind of have a light wash over them so more attention was on the horse. Another thing I chose to do to help that whole thing out more was make the horse bigger in this picture than in the first one I did. I just made it a little bit bigger so it still looks like it's on the carousel but it is more of a main focus versus just kind of there and you're looking at the carousel. And then there were a few things that I took from my original painting, which I carried over, which I really ended up liking. One was the color of the horse. I really wanted a brown horse with like darker brown hair. And then I really liked the navy blue um, saddle and then the tan like kind of straps on that. I think it complemented the color scheme very nicely and had a nice contrast between the actual horse. Another thing I really liked from the original was doing gold detailing on the saddle and the straps on the horse. I did little gold dots on the saddle and the straps to show the little gold buttons and then on the little piece of fabric that's under the saddle. I don't know what they're called, but I did little gold like swirls like a design as a part of that part of the saddle garment. And I really like how those turned out. You kind of can't see it from far away, but if you were to get up close to the painting or have it in like a natural sunlight or a flashlight kind of lighting, you would see it's a nice reflective detail and I think that adds another element to this painting. Overall, I'm really happy with how this ended up coming out. I think this version of this painting was much more successful than the first one I did so it definitely paid to restart this painting and the people who commissioned it were very happy with it as well so that's always nice as an artist. So stay tuned to see a couple other different paintings that were commissioned and the process behind those as well.